Hi, uh, welcome to my channel that is a quality assurance. Today we are going to see how we can run multiple methods in a single class. Okay, so one minute open the notepad here in a class I have two methods. Okay, two methods. Okay, two methods and static method. In case you want to run about two methods, okay. Let's see, I have created this method integers and reverse handle. Simply, I'm printing this integers from one to ten, okay. And the second method is I am printing this number from 10 to 1. Here I am using increment. Here I am using decrement. Okay. Let's see if I if I am not using any thing. This is simple static method. This is this is simple static method. Okay. Static method. Static void main string js. Okay, this is a static method. If you run this program, see only the task is completed. Means only static method is executed. If you want these two methods are not executed. Okay. Only static method is executed. Only static method is executed. Okay, if you want to want to run those two methods, okay, using main method. Here main method, what are the objects or everything you are created under main method? It will be executed in a class. Okay. So let's create how how you will run these two methods. How you will run this first method and second method. If you want to run these two methods, you need to create object. Object. Why we need to create the object in order to call these methods to run within this class. So creating object using class. Okay, print integers. I'm creating normal, normal like this object. Now yeah, print integer. See, I have created an object. Okay, created object. Once I have created object, now I can access methods. Access methods. What's okay, object int dot c? Here it is. What are the See, it is these are available objects. So I have created two objects, right? Integers, see, integers, and second one is a reverse order. This one is second method is a reverse order. See, reverse order. Okay, objects are der derived from class. Those objects can be accepts methods which is created in the class. See, I am using integers. Okay. And again, access another method. See, object int dot reverse order. Now we execute. What will happen with this object? Whatever the object I am created with this object, this method also will execute as well as starting method. This is normal. Let me where. To run this program. See, it is executed, right? First of all, it is executed integer from one to ten, and the next, the second one, it is executed reverse order. This is ten, nine, eight, and last starting method. Starting method is executed. Okay, like this, you can execute the different uh, method around hundred or two or any method you can create, and you can call from that. Object create object for particular class. This class 
then you can call that methods using this object which is created in class okay yeah thank you thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos and please provide your valuable comments on this video thank you